So now we're actually heading to a lot towards spawn. If you look at our coordinates, we're really, really close to spawn, and we've got Archivist space here and Tardis. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tommy Pie. Welcome back to another new TARDIS mod server video. So today we're doing a TARDIS town tour that uh, countless people have been working on to make a nice space in the server to live and crash out for, you know. So I'm going to start with this garage part, which was kindly built by the Ginger Doctor, who did a really good job. It's a clever idea as well. I was originally going to build a landing pad, but the garage idea, just having these spots, just, just it's just a lot better. So I'm just going to show you all the people that have actually uh, parked here. So on the first floor we've got Renegade Dogs TARDIS spot, Ice Sprint's TARDIS parking, they're obviously not here at the minute, Monkey Man's not here. Hello, I'm Clark, oh, he's placed a torch there instead, Jesus man, that's really like, get on my nerves. We've got Nom, Nom, I'm just, Tard, okay, Spoon Sabuna owns this parking spot. <laughs> I'm going to say that because if I ever get really famous, they'll demonetize the video for that. Uh, Peter Chu MC's parking spot. Chicken duck thing spot. Ah, oh, he's made it look nice. Okay. Another cool thing about this cool little garage is that you can easily get to the second floor like that. And here we have another row of TARDISes. So we've got gingy spots, not yours, you know. And by the way, there's not many people on because... There was a lot of server issues, so a lot of people still think it's down. It's only recently been put back up, you know. Uh, Matthew's TARDIS parking spots. Spartan Games FTB. Einstein's. Honey Lux. Alright, so. And I think there's another layer here. I don't think anyone's parked it yet. Yeah, no one yet. Yes, yeah, so a big thank you for that Ginger Doctor, which is his username, that Ginger Doctor, for building this garage. So let's get on to the rest of this massive town. So I've got the cacti here, and, you know, Cactus Farm, you need it for your exotronic circuits. Yes, we are getting super lag. It was running flawlessly earlier, but of course, I start recording. This lag was fine until I, I started recording. Classic life. So over here, we actually have a board showing all the residents and everyone inside this town. So we've got the administrators, Dangerous One, Sonic, the Boomhog, Peter Two MC. Dangerous One is, is the founder of TARDIS Town and the other two are co-founders. Engineers, Tommy Pye, Andrew, TDB. I've, I've had a lot of good good times working with Andrew. Police Department, Sebastian, which is the server owner, and Captain Jam. Kind of makes sense that Sebastian's the, the police because he has the full power over the server. Moving on over here, we have a lost computer. Um, if you don't know what that is, just go check out my other videos. You should know what it is. Uh, here we have an end portal, but it's not a portal. And here we have a spooky cave. Another portal over here, and yeah, I already showed you all that. So let's move on, and we actually have a path going along here. So we'll kind of go along this nice path and have a look at everything, shall we? So talking of staying along the nice path, we're going to go off the path here. Inside here we have a hotel that was built, if you want to read these signs and have a look, it was built by the one Matthew, and it's a really cool concept, if I'm honest, you've got these different rooms here, another room there. For privacy issues, I'm not going to go inside these people's rooms, but uh, there you go. So yeah, the Tardis Town Hotel, if you are if you ever join the server, the Tardis Town Hotel is open, so go join the temporary if you just the crash out at TARDIS Town and then you're gonna have to ask me or Andrew if you wanna you know build something here because that's the, what the engineers do right, but here's the one Matthews house it looks very very nice it's just this tree kinda disrupted a little and it's got a post box which I like <laughs> it's nothing in here in a minute but let's move on to this side of the path first we've got Einstein's Repair, TARDIS repair shop. He's totally free here to help. Only come when he's online, and you can look in here, he's got a nice repair shop over there. Now we have Boom Hogs, I think Dangerous Ones, and I th the, all the administrators, I think, live here. i pretty much certain Boom Hogs lives here, but you've got storage in there. And as we go up here, you can see it's actually really well constructed here, between oak logs and these... Just bits of wood. I'll show you later that Boomhog has actually done a lot of good building. Oh, what's down here? Oh, this is really cool. Interesting. 
I guess it's done under construction, but that's a really cool idea, bro. Got a nice fat wheat farm over here. And there's just another house being constructed over there. I thought I'd just include it to show you that we're still under construction. And we're just actually starting to get some more people in now. Along the path, we have the shop for sale. There was a shop there. And then we have Boomhog's Barn, which he still needs to get animals in. But as you can see, very nice building here. We've got some sweet berry sacks here. And an interesting barn door, which at some point I think the engineers, me and Andrew, could make a actual moving one with the Create mod. Because I've been getting into that kind of stuff, you know, here's another shop for sale, and here's another workshop. This used to be that ginger doctor's house, but now it's just a workshop. I guess it's similar to Einstein's month. But coming up over here, we're going to start with this place, which is that ginger doctor's TARDIS engineer house. And he's a TARDIS engineer because of his workshop, and he done a really nice job in this house. I like the way he's used these windows here, the create mod windows. And he's just obviously shown his building talent here these windows, ominous banners, and a really, really nice relaxing point here. Telescope into the stars, even though it's not functionable, but there you go. Coming out of here, into this middle section of the path here, we have my workshop, and <laughs> Einstein self-promoted himself, but that's fine. And my workshop's currently just a bit under construction. It's, uh, just could improve with the flooring and the lighting a bit here. But we've got a crusher, schematic table, teleports in the dimension, mining dimension, that's it. We've got a crusher here. So all these tools, if you don't know about the create mod, gets you different items and all that. You should actually really get into the create mod, it's actually a really good mod to get into, so definitely learn about that. We've got crushers here, and uh, someone, they decided to jump in here and the grave went there, and it just crushed the grave, so they lost all their stuff, I guess. <laughs> Is a mixer, you can mix some wheat in there I think and you can make bread okay basically you can't got a mechanical crafter that's powered by a windmill and enchantment table blast furnace anvil and all that there's more to come in this workshop but it's it does the trick for what I need to do in the create mod as I'm an engineer I do a lot of stuff with the create mod and here is some stuff powering the mechanics outside here which I really like so now we're moving on to something which I found really really cool Andrew's workshop humble Factory, not workshop, sorry, it's a factory, there's a difference. This is one engineer, that's another engineer. He's a factory guy, I'm, an, I'm a workshop guy, but we share them both equally. So, um, he's, al he's already made it look like a cool factory with the steam there, and you have to use a sonic screwdriver to get inside here. And then he's got this little latch here, and you can just sit down on these chairs if you would like to. And then here we go, uh, th that's his TARDIS there. And <laughs> he has... Uh, behind these walls he has cacti farming and then it goes into here he has a town street light so you can turn the redstone lamps on on and off out there you can see one there and you have an alarm <laughs> that goes off so this is factory and i really like his factory it's very very cool and the way he's built it i really like the kind of style of it fairly old-fashioned you know so let's move off the path to a more peaceful area please excuse this the other engineer, Andrew, he built a really, really cool moving bridge with the Create mod. But people were too stupid to understand how to operate it, so we just had to n not make it work anymore. It's a shame, but it still looks nice regardless. But we've got Tommy Pie's hut, which is me. I'm Tommy Pie, and not really. I don't use it much. It's just kind of there for decoration, really, and to, you know, just be there. And going on this path... Which, by the way, this path was kindly built by Archivist44, which is currently in here. He spent a lot of time on the server, and here we go. We have Timeless Lord's Temporary Hut, with some free blueberries. The path leads on all the way around here. And, yeah, let's just carry on going back. That's all this path really leads on to. And heading along the path here, that's my hut. Um, donate, bridge and road donated by Archivist44. And this is also a very nice bridge, and then we have Destroyer's Hut here, and he hasn't been on in a while, he hasn't put a sign here, I just remember seeing him building it, and I planted all these trees around here, because I wanted to get trees to build my workshop, and by the way, I'm no builder, so don't try and judge my workshop. But then we get to the outskirts of Tardis Town. This part here actually reminds me of The Force Awakens, when Rey was going up to find Luke, you know, and had the saber, just that part there, you know. But uh, let's hope this massive long path to the peaceful outskirts of Tardis Town leads us to something peaceful. And look at that, <laughs> it is something peaceful. I don't know whose this is actually, but it's it's really nice. It's quite a 
It's got a, quite a nice feel to it, how they've made this. I really like this. We've got some really talented builders in the server. It's probably because they're so used to building TARDISes. They've got some white sleeping bags, some paper laid there, some nice waterfall. They've done that really well, the campfire you could set around. You should probably include chairs there, but oh well. And let's carry along the path, because there's some more really cool stuff to see along this path. Bruh, what's this important decision? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> so now, we're actually heading to a lot towards spawn. If you look at our coordinates, we're really, really close to spawn. And we've got Arch of its space here, and TARDIS. <gasps> <laughs> So Tardis Town and Archivist's base, and here's Doc Arcane's, and we're gonna go head to Archivist's first. See ya, Seb. Yeah, that's Sebastian. So let's head along here, along this nice path, and this is Spawn. This isn't Archivist's base. I think this is Archivist's. Oh, these signs. I haven't read these yet. Kingdom of... What the? Oh, wait. Is this Moose Town? Okay, I'm not going in there, actually. Yeah, I think that's Moose Town. Is that... Who's that? Don't know. Oh, well. So there's two towns. There's Moose Town and there's Tardisville. Moose Town is owned by a Tardis mod developer. It's part of the Tardis team, Commander R. Moose. And Tardis Town is owned by just a member. And Doc Arcane, who's a part of the team. His base is really nice. And he's a really nice fella, you know? So when I first came in, I was like, is that it? But then I saw this nice thing <laughs> but uh i know he was when i was on vc to him he told me he was playing around a lot with the create mod and i came and saw this and yeah he is oh damn it so yeah we've got a lot of stuff going on here and this actually looks really decorative if i'm honest with you so uh there's the man himself doc arcane and here's his lovely base we've got the weed over here and it's just built this really nice this this is probably the best building i've seen oh damn lag this is probably the best building i've seen in the in the tardis and i've got his house here I'm just gonna have a quick look there's his tardis and if we go around here he's currently constructing this part here and he's got a nice windmill over here which is a lot better than the ones in tardis town and we've got these flashy doors over here so i've got I should never have entered. Actually, I think, uh, I guess the YouTube rank's probably allowed, you know. Okay, he's actually offered me to see his stone and glass work, so I'm interested to see this, you know. Oh, nice. So he's got the crushers here. He's got, uh, what? Using the gear shift, I guess that. Yeah, that's for powering the bell. I'm trying to understand this. So this is all being powered by the rotational force of the windmill, I guess, and... Great. Oh, look at this. This is really well made. It looks good. He's um, created a functional glasswork, and he's done it well, I must say. Got the funnels here leading to that stuff. And oh, he's got the, yeah, the infinite cobblestone generator. And I guess he's using a drill to use that, is he? Yeah, I can see the drill. This is very cool. And if you want to see where we're at, head up the windmill here. Get, get right next to the windmill. We can actually turn it off, but I'm not going to do that. And yeah, this is a mechanical drill right there. So, let's move on. So now we're just going to head back to Tardis Town, the centre of Tardis Town. Before we head back, the uh, funny thing is, I actually had a lot more planned for this video. But the tour's actually taken a lot longer than I thought, and it's just a lot more interesting than I thought. So I think I'll do all the things I was meant to do in this video in the next video, so keep a look out for that. And I forgot to mention, we have some bits over here with some coal log. I don't know who's building that is, but I am next video going to build a sky view here to have a whole view of Tardis Town. It is limited to six chunks in the server to save for lag purposes, which I think is definitely fair enough. But you still get to see some. And one more thing, which is really cool, is this elevator. Uh, has it changed since I last? So you click a button here. This is using Create Mod, by the way, but it's also using us. What? What? But to be honest, I'm not going to bother this. Last time I did try, I actually died. I, it's still in a construction. I don't want to mess up anyone's uh, thing accidentally. But that looks like it's going to be a fat old project there. And let's just go feature the... What the? So anyway, big thank you to all of the people that participated in making this. Uh, next video, I'm going to be building a sky view thing. And talking about my future plans on the server. Which are pretty damn big, if I'm honest with you. 
So thank you for watching everyone. Be keep a lookout for on my single player series and all that. And thank you for 400 subscribers. Very satisfied with the channel growth recently. And see you later. Thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, guys, have a nice day.